go Doctor Who. If you don't, then you can go. Hello guys, we're seeing Go Doctor Who, and today we're going to do um, my five favourite Torchwood stories of all time. Um, yeah, we might as well get onto it. So, there's five on the list. At fifth place, we have... Um, I'm not good with title names, and I can't I can't remember what this name is called, so I'll just explain it. Uh, the one before the Finalia series um, two of Torchwood, that one, where the bomb goes off and we see all the Torchwood team's origin, and Gwen and Reese are trying to get the Torchwood team out. Um, with this, we get to learn more about our characters like Owen, and Owen's um, lost his girlfriend uh, there's an alien that comes out of her and made her ill and stuff like that and he blames Captain Jack but then gets recruited to Torchwood. I love that. I love that we get to learn about there's more to Owen than what we thought and it kind of makes him who he is in a way and he was a completely different person before he joined the Torchwood team. And um, then we get Tosh with her origin and you think it's completely going to be different to what you get but you get it really well done with her mom being captured and she having to uh, try and work stuff out and she gets arrested by unit and she's going to be locked up for good but Captain Jack decides you can be either be locked up you can join me and she does and then we get oh Yonto his origin of can, you, can I join you can I join you please can I please join you please can I join you you know the begging it was so funny to see and they and we get to see the origin of the pterodactyl why not yeah um it's a really good story and it obviously leads into the finale quite well with help me obi-wan kenobi you're my only hope yeah it's a really good story really structured what quite well and origin well overdue and it's worth the wait with this story um at fourth place we now have countryside the darker side of humanity seeing humans as cannibals eating people and whole villages on it it's a bit like hot fuzz with uh, whole villages on it, in on it you try and get to a policeman for help the policeman's actually on in on it as well and they're trying to the torture team you generally feel are in danger and they're all going to get killed off and it's quite interesting and yeah so yeah you get that aspect and i think it's quite scary um at third place now we have i don't know the name of it but Series 2 finale, yes, this is them basically Captain Jack's brother taking control of the situation, killing off Owen and Yonto, you know, y uh, uh, not Yonto, Owen and Tosh. Tosh gets shot by Jack's brother and Tosh can't help Owen and Owen's doesn't want to die and he does and he does it in the best way to please Tosh. And Tosh never tells Owen that she's dying too. And she dies in Jack's arms. And it's just a, wow, it's a powerful moment. And it's a big thing for Torchwood. The half the Torchwood team are gone within this episode. And we ca Captain John Hart, I think it is. And him, uh, he's back and he's brilliant as always. And then Jack's brother probably is the letdown in this. But I think it's still worth top five tortured stories because it's really good to see and I love we get to explore more of Captain Jack and him being buried alive and that certain thing going on and on and on and I think it's brilliant and yeah it's cool to see um at second place we have something borrowed now this just misses top slot just because I really love something borrowed with Gwen's wedding I love a good shapeshifter and this is what it is a shapeshifter story you don't know who's going to be who first seeing it first time round but when you can rewatch it it's still hilariously funny and comedic but so tortured at the same time and um you you impersonate my mom my mom and then you kill ruin my wedding day chainsaw ram oh the chainsaw's not working now ah reese you've been a bad boy and then blows up by captain jack i love that scene it's the best scene in tortured best scene in doctor who universe i love it so much it's funny and I love Gwen getting pregnant and there's hilarious scenes in that yeah it's just brilliant I just love it I love it I love it so something borrowed has got to be second place at first place we have Children of Earth the five part finale oh my god this is a brilliant one 
ba bom ba bom ba bom with all five parts. Brilliantly well done. I mean, yes, it, I did say five favourite stories, not five favourite episodes, so I can count all five in this. Furbisher's performance as Peter Capaldi is brilliantly well, well, Peter Capaldi playing Furbisher, brilliant. We've got Yonto's death, which is so sad. The four, five, six, using children as drugs and manipulating the government to do their bidding. The government being dark as hell. Torchwood, learning about Jack's secrets of not only him being really dark and giving the children, but also we learn about Jack's granddaughter and, uh, no, Jack's daughter and grandson and the sacrifice of that. And then, oh, the scale of the story, it's so brilliantly well done. It's probably the best Doctor Who in the best, in the universe of Doctor Who, it's the best story of all time. It's gotta be, and it's incredible. So well done. There's my five favourite Torchwood stories. What's your five favourite or what's your first favourite? Well, let me know in the comments down below and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe, get the little bell and remember to subscribe because we're trying to get to the channel goal before the end of the year. It'd be incredible if we could get there and I'd love it if we did. So join us on the journey. Why not? And I'll see you guys for a new video very soon on the channel. Have a nice day.